I use two methods for checking speedometer calibration. Each involves the use of mile posts or a special section of highway that's used for speedometer tests. One is the odometer test and has to be read in tenths of a mile. Starting at the beginning mile post, zero the odometer and run for a five mile period observing the mileage on the odometer in tenths for each mile that you clock. At the five mile point, calculate the full error if there is some and use that to figure the percentage of error in the odometer. If the speedometer and odometer are in sync, and they should be, that is one method for determining speedometer calibration. The other method I use is the flying mile method, where I set the cruise control at 60 miles per hour and use the mile post markers as start and stop points, taking a stopwatch or a wristwatch with a second hand Timing begins at the start of the first mile. As you pass the mile posts, note the second hand or stopwatch start point. At the end of the first mile, if you're going 60 miles per hour by the speedometer, you should have gone 60 seconds. Check this over five miles for accuracy. And when the five miles is up, note how many seconds difference there is between five minutes and your actual reading on the stopwatch or the wristwatch second hand. This would be the percentage of error that you'll factor into the calibration of the speedometer.